everybody welcome back to Enlang. i'm ruby525 and we are back with our mother fox and her three remaining pups last episode we traveled back to our original den and now we're going to head back to our second den we left the for a brief period because we were looking for food but now we found it and there's probably more on the way back home um, my guess is there's going to be another memory today so hopefully we'll be able to follow that and find it. I've been using the badger dens to get around. They're actually quite helpful. Yeah, so I will talk to you guys when we find the memory. Okay, we're almost there. The rain seems to really like lag out Streamlabs, but let's see what this memory is. It looks like it's a gas canister. Um... It looks like Molly, the girl we met, had was been taking care of our pup, which is really nice. Uh, it makes me feel a little be better knowing that our pup isn't quite alone. Uh, let's see what the next memory will have for us. So I can't tell what that is. It looks like a like a rag, like maybe they were using it for something. I know Molly is sick. We've run into her. And she seems to be wearing some sort of medical device. I think it's weird all of a sudden how much rain we're getting. It's so much rain. You'd think there would be floods. The dump, or whatever this is, is actually a new area that we've just moved into. I think it's a nice area. It actually has a lot more food available than any of the other areas we've been to. Which is odd because it says that food is supposed to get harder to find. But it actually got easier to find. For me, at least. Okay, we're coming to our last memory for this portion of the memories. It looks like a pill bottle. Oh, they ran out of pills for Molly. Oh, that's so sad. I really like Molly. She's very sweet. So, it looks like... Um, is this a den? Oh, so this must be the third den. That's good, because I was wondering, I mean, it's quite a long walk from this area back to our old den. Um, so I'm glad that we have this den, although, actually, it seems like the coziest den we've had so far, especially since they're all getting bigger. Once again, I apologize for the lag. I'm not sure why, but sometimes the recording software I use just decides to not work. But it looks like our pups are bigger. They're unfortunately playing with the only toys they have, which is trash. Uh, and it's a good example as to how our animals get stuck in our world with the trash. But they'll be okay. Our pups will be okay. We're feeding them, we're taking care of them, and they're adorable. Oh no, got covered by a tire. I'm sure she'll pop out. And there's Mother Fox waiting for them to come on out. So, because we've just found a memory, it'll probably be a while before we find any more, but it might be a good idea to just explore the area around us since there's so many events. Um, so I guess we'll just kind of walk around. This looks like it used to be an old like amusement park, maybe? Is that why there's so many like big, large things? And is that the shooter guy? I don't know. Oh! Oh no. I guess I don't know how we're supposed to get past him. And the Lang Extinction is forever. Boy, I really messed that one up. It seems to me like there's a lot of weird mutated food that grows in this area, but like I don't mind it. There's also a lot of rats and pigeons, which is just fine. I do hear people, so maybe there are people over here. I also like that there's a lot of like weird, cool little jumping areas in this portion of the map. There's a lot of like tunnels to go through and places to go. There's a lot more pathways. 
I apologize for any other noises you hear. My dog is sitting in my room and she's being very loud. And it looks like this is quite a community of people. Their pups aren't really that hungry, so it's not crucial that we find food, but I know they'll be hungry soon. Uh, and it looks like there might be a pigeon over there, so maybe we could carry that along for a little bit. I kind of think it would be more realistic if the people noticed us. Like, surely they would hear, like, a fox. And it looks like, oh, there's Molly. So maybe we can go say hi to her. Uh, I'm not sure the way to get over. Maybe it's, like, up and over the pole. Hopefully the pups will be able to follow because only one of them has the climbing skill. I don't know if there's a way to get them all the climbing skill and the way that bird's wings are moving is just horrible. It says she's right over here, so hopefully we'll be able to get to her. Maybe not. Let's see. Natty, stop that. Okay, there's a path over here to use. This makes more sense. Man, there's even people sleeping in the sewer tubes. Look, there's Molly. She must be pretty weak since she's just sitting there, giving food to the pups. Maybe she knows that she has or had our lost pup. Oh. Aww. I wish there was a way to comfort her or like have her pet us again so she can feel better. That just makes me so sad. Well, the night will probably be ending soon. Now's the hardest part. I guess Creeping past isn't going to work because he's going to hear you no matter what. So your best bet is to just run. We're lucky he didn't shoot us there. Well, I was another night that has passed. And it looks like the furrier has finally caught up with us. Oh, each of the pups all got the high jump skill. That's cool. Very helpful. Oh, and more memory. Wow, there's been a lot of memories lately. Okay, night 23. Let's go see where this memory is. Oh, we gotta go past the guy again. Okay. I mean, maybe we'll get some food first and then try to go for the memory. There's uh, the rat would probably be the easiest thing to catch. If we can find the trash pile. Uh, let's see. Yep, and then we'll either, we'll probably feed it right now. They're hungry enough that they need the food. The hard part is going to be getting past him again. I have a feeling I'm going to die a lot, although he was pretty slow that time, so maybe he has different, like, speeds on different days. Let's see if we can say hi to Molly. Hi, Molly. She's out of food. Oh. Does that mean she's starving, too? Oh, that's alright. I mean, we'll, we'll take care of ourselves. Oh. Her father must have our pup then? Like, is he trying to trade pup for food or medicine? I wonder what she's sick with. Well, hopefully she'll be alright. The memory is this way, so it will follow both the scent of food and the memory. I guess it's not of a memory because the mother fox didn't live through it. It's more of a... I don't know, what would one call it? A re recollection?
We have more food for on the way home. Okay. Uh, it looks like a trap. Oh, he said it because he's trying to catch food, perhaps? That would make sense. Trying to catch food or something to trade for more medicine for her. Okay. Well, it looks like the last one is this, or the second one is this way. So we'll see if we can find that one. Another pigeon, but I scared it off. Oh, that looks like the cage that the pup has been kept in. Um, the furrier has the pup? Well, then the pup must not be alive anymore. Is that where the furrier lives? Up there on the hill? Look at all the cages. And there's dogs. Oh, maybe he lives up there. Let's see. Oh, maybe the, the furrier stole it from our guy. And the guy was going to shoot him to get it back. So that means he must have gotten the pup back. Okay, I think that's all the time we have for today, guys. I'm going to leave you with that last memory of where our pup was, and hopefully we'll be able to find her soon. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!